Hackintosh is a non-Apple personal computer with x86 architecture. The Apple software license does not allow Mac OS X to be used on a computer that is not Apple branded. It is very hard to find a Windows laptop or desktop that has hardware fully compatible with Apple's operating system. Therefore, you will need to find appropriate texts for each hardware component of your computer. Text files are essentially drivers for Mac OS X. Text stands for kernel extension. Text files extend Mac OS X's kernel, the core part of the operating system. Hackintoshes often require special kicks to enable sound, ethernet, and more. Is it worth making a Hackintosh? First of all, you should know that it takes a very long time to make one. Finding the appropriate kicks may prove very challenging because if you use the wrong one, it can give your system kernel panic and therefore have to start all over again. The only benefits of a Hackintosh is that it makes your Windows machine run better. For example, this little notebook works way better on Mac OS 10.5.8 than any Windows operating system, probably because of its very limiting capabilities. Also, keep in mind that if you update your Hackintosh, you may kill it. Many people have made that mistake and got a kernel panic. It takes lots of skill to keep a Hackintosh healthy. You may end up losing everything if you do not know how to resuscitate your system. On this system, following texts need to be found in order to have a 100% operational Mac OS X system. You need to find proper texts for camera, Bluetooth, Ethernet, video card, microphone, sound, Wi-Fi, sleep mode and more. Also, on Hackintosh is using Mac OS X 10.7 line or OS X 10.8 mountain line. Some people reported that they could not use an Apple ID to enable to use the App Store or take advantage of the cloud. Although it's nice to see your Windows machine run the world's best operating system, the procedure may prove to be painful, time consuming and very frustrating. Personally, I would rather have a cheap new Mac Mini or a second-hand Macintosh rather than dealing with a Hackintosh that may die on you at any moment. As you can see, this Hackintosh runs smoothly, but for how long? Hope you enjoyed this small video, have a nice day.